on YouTube is a small test of mine to clean this uh, mounting block that I'm using on my CNC machine. Um, I got it used from eBay and it's a massive big block for mounting on the machine and mounting pieces on the sides and, and so on. Um, its weight is 22 kilos it's uh, iron um, the size is 23 centimeters in that direction and I believe 16 no 18 in di that direction that is 15 centimeters in the height so it's a fairly big trunk chunk of, of iron, but the thing is that this is uh, actually very dirty, and uh, there's a lot of uh, crap on the surface. It's hard to see with the camera, but it's uh, I've tried to clean it with a lot of things, but it's, it doesn't seem to clean up very well, and there's all all sorts of old crap on the surface um, and if we look inside I think this was supposed to be a, a label down there but it's, it's all crap and dirt um, and I think there's a lot of uh, crap on the on the surface to uh, make it uneven so my idea is that to use this ultrasonic cleaner that I got some time ago to clean tools and all sorts of things and, and things I have cut with the machine and so on but trying to, to put this piece down into this cleaner and, and see if it can clean up all the oil and dirt and and things it's it's a bit hard on the camera to show but it's really dirty in there and I've tried to to scrape some of it off but it, it doesn't seem to be cleaning the surface very much so so I'll heat up the water and have it in in this uh, machine I guess it's because it's so big it will take uh, a long time and I have to to turn the block a number of times um, because this basket um, it just fits inside but as you can see I have to turn the block a number of times to get the cleaning going on all surfaces so it would be going in that way and that way and from the bottom up and so on until the block is, is cleaned um, I don't think there's much uh, it's just a matter of time it has to do in, uh, in the machine and, and do the cleaning um, the only concern I have is that the that the water will get up to 70, 80 degrees or something and, and handling this block when it's getting so hot uh, after some time can maybe be a bit tricky so what I plan to do is, is to tie in a rope so I can have this to lift the piece out um, because I, I can't put my fingers on the block when it is in the machine and it's it's hot um, it will be too hot to handle and and it is 22 kilograms so so it's it's fairly heavy so but I will be back when I've heated the machine up and and try to place the block inside the machine and and see how it goes with the with the cleaning. Um, this machine is some 10 liters machine I got from uh, ultrasonic machine that I got from eBay some time ago 
to yeah to clean all sorts of things like this um, in in the machining and I've tried to clean some some tools and it it seems to go well but um, it's also hard on the surface on the so I'm concerning not to give this block too much time in in the machine because then it, the surface will be uh, rough uh, but it, it can't be more bad than it it, it always is so um, yeah sorry for the handhold lights uh, it's some video lights um, but it's the only way to make enough light so you can see see the surface on the so some of the sides is is prettier than other I guess it's it's not as bad as as the other ones but I think I will give it a try to clean this block and and there's so much iron in it can't hurt and I guess I can polish the surface later on so yeah so now the block is in the in the ultrasonic machine and, uh, and even there's a tin liter chamber I only pull, uh, pulled in uh, 5 liter of the cleaning solution because uh, the rest is taken up by the iron, so now I'm just waiting for the for the machine to heat up water to 70, 80 degrees or something. Um, I have added some uh, some uh, cable wires, as you can see here, so I can can uh, lift the block out of the water and and into and and when I have to change the sides, so I'll lift it out and and flip it over and add the wires and put it in again. So okay, now it's just time to wait for the water in the chamber to to heat up, and and we can turn on the ultrasonic cleaning. So. So here's the finished block after it has been uh, pulled from the cleaner and as you can see the surface is uh, it's not f super clean but it's a lot cleaner than it was before and uh, all the crap is, is gone from the surface so it just has to be uh, polished with some uh, manual sanding, fine sanding paper or something. But the surface is a lot smoother than it was before. Um, I don't know what the white stuff is that's inside the inside the block. So here was all black inside before, and now it's a. Uh, I think it, it's some kind of paint, it has maybe been painted, or maybe it's some coolant that has been uh, stuck on the surface. But there's still something in there, and, uh, 
but you can see the surface is uh, on, on the edge here. It's, it's a lot uh, better than it was before. So yeah, I don't need the inside of the block. What I need is the, the outsides to clamp uh, pieces onto when it's mill milling on the machine. So, so I, I maybe I could put it into the machine more to get the rest of this uh, crap from the inside out, but it, it doesn't matter for me. So I'll just leave it as it is. Maybe it will. fall off sometime it's more important for me that this surface is uh, fine um, and there's even a serial number if you can see it in there 121 I guess they didn't make so many of them. Uh, there was a label inside the, the machine, and it's a bit hard to see what that. I think this is called Packers and Packers Packings, or something like that. But. Uh, So that's it guys, it was uh, after my opinion a success <coughs> with, the, with the ultrasonic cleaning of this block. Um, it took a long time because this was one hour on minimum one hour on each surface on, on each side so I have to turn the block uh, a number of times. <coughs> Mm. So that's uh, something like seven, maybe eight hours. It has been in the ultrasonic bath, uh, but uh, turned to a new side for every hour. So uh, I don't want to use more time to get this uh, inside crap out. Maybe it's falling over off with the time, but. Uh, at the moment it is and it is so so thank you for watching and uh, and uh, I can now use this block because it's a uh, smooth surface and fine there's also here there's maybe been a sticker of some kind you can see there's some round thing here